Hello, this video is going to tell you a little bit about the NXTG programming environment for the LEGO Mindstorms education version of the software. The education version is the type that most schools or first LEGO League teams will have um, in contrast to the retail version if you bought your NXT at a store. The only difference really between the two that I'm aware of is that the education version has a robot educator tutorial. By clicking on this beam you can access that and you can get uh, building instructions as well as programming instructions to have to, um, on how to do various tasks associated with the different sensors and that sort of thing. I suggest that beginners spend some time looking over the robot educator. To close this window you click the X here and to go into the well before I say that also here are a couple other little tutorials here's a if we click this button here it's getting started with a quick introduction to the basics and this one here is a little bit of what I'm going to be telling you a uh, software overview. So if you know your program name ahead of time you could type it in here otherwise we can just start by clicking go. This uh, button right here is called my portal and what it does is by clicking it would show you how to access a couple of things on the web for more information related to the NXT. Close that window. The toolbar is up here across the top and it is kind of your standard toolbar with your file commands, new, open and close, some tools like for calibrating sensors, updating firmware, firmware and here is like some you know, help things and you know, here's your print. The work area space is really here on this grid area and what you're going to do is select blocks from your pallets over on this left um, border and you will click and drag them down on to the sequence beam. This is going to be your program. The um, steps that you want the NXT to follow and you will just pull them off and create a program. Now if you notice that this block is highlighted and when a block is highlighted its configuration panel opens up in this area down below. This is where we configure the block um, and kind of it has various options you can select. You can make it do different things. And this is where you specify those things. Now there is a little, um, if we need help on that particular block, you notice there's two tabs in this corner for this window has two options. One is a help option and this block being highlighted will give you a little bit of information about that block. If you need more you can click on this link and it opens up a help file and will take you right to information. This happens to be the move block and it will tell you lots of good things. And If you're going to do things with data wires or the data hub you really need to be looking at this information in the help file. You can also see that there are, you can search for something, see the index, but there are lots of topics here on calibrating sensors, information on data wires, etc. Back to the NXTG environment. Also in this window, if you click the magnifying glass, which is the map tab, this would be a map of your program space. Often my program that I have here isn't very big but they can grow to be quite large and not all fit on the screen. In this lower corner 
the entire program would be visible and you can select what part you want to be visible on the big work area up here. So this is just handy when your program gets so big and you want to move from part to part uh, when it's too big to fit up here. Um, so the other thing, the programming palettes we sort of talked about before, Th there's tabs down here to select the different palettes. This one is the common palette and this has the common blocks that beginners um, typically use. This is a complete palette of all the blocks and they are grouped by type. Okay, and then there's the third palette. This is the custom palette and if you create your own blocks this is where they will be stored and how you would access them. This area right here is called the, con the controller and here is where you could open up the NXT window to connect via Bluetooth to your robot. You could check on I'm not connected to a robot right now so you can't it's not going to pull anything up here but you can see what programs are stored if you needed to delete some if you needed to upload a text file uh, from your NXT to your PC you could upload a program actually not a program you can upload a text file a data file from your brick to your PC you can download a data file from your PC to your NXT. That would be if you're going to be either writing information or reading information to a file. That's sort of an advanced topic. You cannot move a program from your NXT brick back to the NXT G. This would also show you your name of your NXT brick. You can name it so you can uh, tell them one from another. This would show you your battery level and voltage. It's always a good idea to check this and make sure that your um, battery is charged well for programming. And we can close this. This is a download and run button. If you're working with Bluetooth this is handy because you can just click this your program will be transmitted to your NXT brick and it will st start to go. It's not so great if you are connected with your USB cable because that cable is only so long but depending upon the program it might be fine. This particular button is just to download your program to the brick and then you can select it with the buttons on the NXT brick and run it, you know, unplug it from the cable, place it where you want, and then push the buttons on the NXT to make it go. This one's handy if you're connecting via a cable. This button allows you to download and run just a selected portion of your program, just the blocks that you highlight. That might be used for some troubleshooting um, methods. And if you are connected either with a cable or Bluetooth, you can actually stop the program from running um, right from your computer instead of pushing a button on the NXT to stop. But you have to be connected.